Now, uh, every weekend with Extreme Robots is a special weekend. Whenever we go around the UK, we visit some, you know, fascinating places, different arenas. Every every arena is different. This one particularly is very small, but we somehow fit it all in the backstage bit, the arena, the fans, and even the car park when we bring in all the robots from our robotiers. But this weekend is quite a special one for my friend Liam Haddock here. Uh, Liam has been with Extreme Robots for many years. How many years have you been part of Extreme Robots for? For Extreme Robots, um, I've been working for them about two years um well not working like with them for two years um i did work with them in 2013 but obviously um i had college so i had to stop doing that to finish off my degree but then as soon as um the um uh, person needed to do with um like graphics and whatnot i've took the chance and i'm still here so that's mm. that's something so ab about six years then pretty much P pretty much well on and off six years yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, th the reason why it's so special for Liam this weekend is because this will be his last um extreme robot show before he moves away to canada uh and of course you know you, it's a big commitment that liam but what how did you feel knowing that you would have to leave extreme robots behind at some point um, it's quite upsetting because I miss. I'm going to miss um, working with everyone. Like, like these two behind here. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, working, working with them, um, filming obviously because I deal with the, all the um, camera work and all the graphics that you actually see in the live shows. Like the statistics on the screens behind us, um, I do with the statistics, any graphics, um, anything that obviously I'm asked to do. Um, I film the battles and mm. edit them also from my office um, in the UK at the moment obviously I'm making a new office in Canada so that's going to be exciting and I'm going to miss everything it's going to be quite quite a sad um, departure but a worth, it's been worth been worth every second mm. and I think what I mean what I've, I've, what I've learned from you Liam because this is only my third show with Extreme Overs and I've been working with you closely we've you know we've even shared hotels together <laughs> but, we, it, but what I've learned from it is the fact that you know basically is the fact that you're so passionate about this as well. So I guess because all the jobs you just entailed then, you know, it's mad, it's, it's long hours, especially on show days. It clearly doesn't bother you, you know, you, you follow your passion. Oh, definitely. I've been passionate to do with editing. Funny enough, um, Robot Wars was the reason why I started wanting to do editing and um, photography and videography um, because the, um, the graphics that won that show were quite um, out there at the time with, like, um, the 3D... Um, opening yeah. and like all the all the um, visuals and it actually started getting me more into filming and editing and then I slowly um, got my passion into basically my hobby and um, my line of work. Mm. No, that's, that's pretty cool and and I bet I bet with how long you've been doing it for now you you clearly must look at it and think wow I'm part of this. Oh yeah, it's like I've been wanting to be part of a crew like this for years and then when you actually get to be a part of it and like you're thinking wow. My dream has actually come true. I'm actually a part of this part of a crew that um, they welcome anyone into their crew, and they actually are very, very loving. And like, obviously, you got to have a crew that you can have a laugh with. And it's become quite uh, like kind of like a, a weird dysfunctional family. <laughs> so I mean, as you say, six years of Extreme Robots. Now this is a bit of a tough question for you. What's your favourite ever moment since being part of Extreme Robots? Oh, favourite ever moment. Um, the spinners. Uh, mm. Funny enough, um, when the original show was on, I wasn't a fan of spinners. I thought they were just, I'm, I thought they were just too destructive. It was just an easy win. There was no, ta there was no tactics. But seeing the spinners actually um, in this arena, like um, AfterShock and um, Galactus, and when they actually clash, and being that close, because I'm really close to the polycarbonate, and you know that if something's going to fly, it's going to hit the polycarbonate, yeah. and you don't know yeah. where, and you don't know when, but you know it's coming, so you've got to be prepared. But um, favourite moment for the arena has got to be when um, AfterShock came back, because you've got to have a spinner that actually can cause devastation and be terrified of it, and mm. it gives more people the reason to come in and... Um, be more more um, part of the sport absolutely yeah so well, i must admit you answered that very well because sometimes when i ask someone that question they go uh yeah that's gonna make me think yeah <laughs> you did all right there as you can see this guy very very uh, 
organised, as you can tell. Uh, well, I'll, I'll say this now, of course, you know, they always talk about the people in front of the camera. I think it's more about the people behind the scenes. And all. They're the ones that put in the hours. They're the ones that put in the work. Liam Haddock here, John Finley, Trevor Bratty, you name it. They all put in the hard work here at Extreme Robots. I'm just one, I'm just here just to talk. You know, I just I just talk and talk rubbish as always. But uh, but no, Liam, it's been, it's been an absolutely fantastic time with you. Um, the shows haven't begun here in Colchester while we film this, so you'll be um, getting ready for the last four shows and they're probably for you they're probably gonna go very quick I hope not I hope it lasts a little bit longer than expected because every event it's like it goes so fast you don't expect it you sound like you're going for the first show thinking I'm so tired I want to go to bed but then like the next two shows it goes the next um, three shows it goes so quickly and you're thinking oh the time's gone where is the time gone and then yeah. well obviously like people um, to hear they ha their time finishes here but as soon as my time my time carries on when I get home mm. and um, start editing because it's like it's a quite a long arduous task to edit um, all the battles make sure the battle boards are correct making sure that the graphics are correct um, but also, it, it could take it took me about a week or two to just um, a week or two to about two or three episodes, yeah. and that's continuous, not just like a one day per week or whatnot. It's continuous um, throughout the entire my entire time. Uh, and, and just quickly mention as well, you know, when you go to Canada, will you do anything with robots out there? What what are your plans when you go out there? Um, I'm hopefully going to be doing exactly the same thing as I'm doing here, but with the Canadian robot robotics. Um, I'll still be part of the um, Extreme Robots crew, um, but in just like um, off site, which mm. is which is still good because I've always wanted like obviously to build um, to edit even wherever I can go because being a freelancer, you can do anything wherever you go. Um, still do like for the Canadian version of um, Extreme Robots and just keep doing what I'm doing now. Nice one, fantastic. Well, we'll, we'll keep, we'll have to Skype you for each show here and get you to watch all the robot battles anyway. And uh, you could be part of the audience here in this crowd. <laughs> and uh, no, it's been an absolute pleasure, Liam. But, um, you know, on behalf of Extreme Robots, you know, uh, a thank you uh, for your contribution over the last few years. Keep it up. And uh, yeah, thank you at home as well for, uh, for supporting the event and for watching his work uh, for you guys on social media, the graphics, as he mentioned, and of course, all the stats, you name it. So it's been absolutely magnificent. Liam, keep it up. And uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you soon. Remember to follow us on all of our social media platforms.